right now guys god bless you i'm working on solving some major issues with my program because <laughs> <laughs> peace and grace guys okay look i'm just going to use what's on your screen right now don't freak out i you know the lord works in mysterious ways it looks like i'm kind of disappearing doesn't it i think we're about to disappear um i'm going to show you several skittles added you know skittles taste the rainbow um habakkuk thy bow was made quite naked the lord's going to let me show you the other half of the equation listen to this it's no different than genesis 3 the exposure of adam and eve that they were naked this is basically the reverse uh, of it that the lord's going to expose the other side by Bo was made quite naked. It's just so mind-blowing. It goes to everything we're seeing right now. Remember the Ozzy Osbourne, patient number nine, the eye opening up. Remember the dragon's eye opening up repetitively. I'll just maybe run through a couple of those real quick just to remind you. But this is so, by Bo was made quite naked. I'll just leave it that. Let's, let's do these Skittles things. This is just fascinating. Okay. Watch this. Hello. Find the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Find the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Now, remember, they're making fun of us because we are the rainbow. We are light beings, and they're mocking us. Let me show you how much of a mockery that was. So the Bible says, the light, the light of the body is the eye. Here, let me put this down here. The light of the body of the, uh, is the eye, the light. The illuminator of the body is the eye. It says the eye. Okay, now, therefore, if thine eye be single, thy whole body is full of light. It says, as a particle of union. See that? So if your eye be single, as a particle of union, because it's showing you that it's not single, it's double. You have... Uh, an eye that's up and an eye that's down. Look at that, how fascinating this is. Look at what's happening here. Okay, you have an eye that's up and an eye that's down. And I'm going to fold them together. And that's what the Bible says. Let thine eye be single, your whole body's full of light. And that means folded together. Okay, so here we go. As a particle of union, properly like folded together like I... Just tried to show you with that piece of paper. It's always something. At thine eye be single, your whole body's full of light. Fold it together. Okay. Uh, did you notice in the commercial that you just saw? In the closet, there was a guy that was folded together. Hello. He was folded back. See how his legs are backwards? He's He's basically folded in half. I mean, that's, uh, why would that, why would that be? Let me show you what was hidden right in front of your face on that, on that one commercial. So here we go. When he goes down to the basement, when he takes his turn to the left to go down, there's a cross that's on the door. When he opens the little door right here with his hands right there, a rainbow comes through the window and he pushes his pelvis, uh, to have the rainbow connecting with his genitalia. That's what he does. And it's an upside down cross connecting with the genitalia, the light. And then, yeah, here's, here's the door going down. When he, when he goes into the basement, the, the door is an upside down cross. He goes down. Again, he opens the door, uh, the little door, and it's an upside down cross. The light comes in towards the genitalia. And then... He opens the other closet door, which is also an upside-down uh, upside cross, and there is a guy folded in half 
The Bible says if your eye be single, the whole body's full of light. I'm going to show you that these Skittles commercials are about your eye not being single, about your eye being double. That's what they're about. And about them eating the under part of the rainbow. A rainbow is actually a complete circle. It's actually a complete circle. Uh, but if you're on the ground, the, you can only see half. And uh, I've shown that to people. I've skydived before, and I actually was skydiving, and I, I was under canopy. And there is a cloud in front of me, and I flew right through the center of a rainbow. Here is... Here is a canopy. See, that's a parachute right there. And this is the subject right here. This is not from my jump, but it was basically the same. Actually, the one that the Lord allowed me to participate in was much more clear than this and much more profound. And it was going into the side of a, a cloud that was a mountain of just solid cumul cumulus nimbus cloud with a rainbow in the, with my reflection in the dead center. It's insane. Okay, anyway, but there it is in the sky. A rainbow is a full circle, but if you're on the ground representing you've been cast down, the rainbow is only half a circle when it hits the ground. All right, let's watch all these. Ready? Here goes a little marathon. I want you to notice one thing. The rainbow they're showing you is always upside down. It's They're always showing you this upside down, the, the underneath the bottom half of the circle of a rainbow is what they show you in all, all these because that's what they're eating. They're eating the light. They're beings that consume the light. The darkness consumes the light. Okay, and this is going to go straight to Habakkuk. Thy, thy bow was made quite naked. But let's watch these. Rainbow. All right, let's do this. I got minds to twist and values to warp. Mr. Tyler, your Skittles portrait. That is E to the Z, ooh, tweedly disgusting! You haven't heard me sing diddly ding yet. Dream on! Higher. Dream on! I think a little higher. Dream on! Ah! Dream on! Rock the rainbow, taste the rainbow. Love these sweet heat skittles. Mm. Looks like we're all out. <laughs> sweet heat skittle time! <laughs> Rile the rainbow! Taste the rainbow. Just one lemon left. Lemon skittles are my favorite. They're my favorite. Let's settle it the usual way. Lemon. Uh-huh. Orange. Uh-huh. Oh, Mother. I'd love eating Skittles every time you eat Skittles. I love you eating Skittles every time I eat Skittles. <laughs> <sighs> I miss Dad. Cut the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Happy Mother's Day. Katie! 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 Mm. All right. All right, are you watching? It's always the rainbow's always down. So it's upside down. The rainbow's upside down. Taste the rainbow. Romance the rainbow. Rock the rainbow. Uh, rock the rainbow. Torture the rainbow. Keep watching. The rainbow. Hey, Tim. Show Joel how everything you touch turns into Skittles.
That's awesome. Is it awesome? Well, you can't hold your newborn baby boy in your arms. Did you feed and dress yourself this morning? I didn't. I met a man on the bus today. I shook his hand. He'll never see his family again. I guess that's pretty awesome. Excuse me. Touch the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Touch the rainbow. No, seriously. Put your index finger on your screen where the skittle is. I'm going to pause this one because it's really rank. It's very disturbingly disgusting. Touch the rainbow. These new Smoothie McSkittles are delicious. I know. Two different flavors blended together in each one. How can they blend together two things as different as an orange and a mango? It's unbelievable. What about peach pear? A peach blended together with a pear? Now that's an unusual combination. <laughs> you, you two sheep boys! Stop that jibber jabbing! Blend the rainbow! Taste the rainbow! Remember, I've told you guys before that a flag. I like to. A flag is flown um, as a symbol of having conquered something. That's why that flag is being flown. If you look around and you see how the world is progressing towards its um, gender status, you can tell it's an energy takeover of the host body system. It's not art once you just look at it. So I'd like very much to go through and show you those commercials, how just biblical those commercials were. They were biblical. Would you imagine that they were biblical? Probably not. Um, I'd like to show you Habakkuk uh, because in showing you Habakkuk, I want you to consider the rainbow light. We're light beings. Look what this says. Thy bow was made quite naked according to the oaths of the tribe, even thy word, Salah. Thou didst cleave the earth with rivers. So the word bow, thy bow was made quite naked. It means of bending. It means a bow of bending, a bow for shooting hence figuratively the strength or the iris. The iris is your eye. Um, let me show you the expanded version of that. It says, thy bow was made quite naked to bend, to set a trap, to lay a snare, to catch your eye. Stop and think what, stop and think about what you just got shown. To lay a snare, to set a trap, to lay a snare for your eye. Do you ever hear the term, oh, she really caught his eye? Yeah. To bend. To set a trap, to lay a snare. That's the word. Thy bow was made quite naked. Now, remember, I just got through showing you all of these uh, rainbow ads. And they all have this, look, upside down. See right here? It says Skittles. And they're going to add the color to it. Now, remember, there's, a, there's this huge gender movement going on in the world. It's an energy thing. Watch. They're going to start coloring it all in. Right here. It's a gender Come thing. Come back to me. A gender thing. By the way, that was 2X. Just cleverly put in front of you right here. See, uh, this is a symbol for a female and female put together, but it's 2X. See, that's why they made sure that they, that's supposed to represent a mirror, by the way, the circle with the, upside down cross but they made sure that the the legs of the cross were all equal in length and size watch so look right here see here 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 and here see that looks like a plus sign and a plus sign 
but 2x. 2x right there, that's it. I mean, they just right here in front of you. Okay, now let, let me go through this and show you what was hidden in those. Yeah, I, I mean, it's, it's so mind-boggling what you're going to see. Genesis 1, uh, verse uh, 27 was in the sheep thing. See the two sheep? And they're and they're the sheep are saying, Oh, it's weird how they can put two things that are so different, light and dark, up and down, two things that are so different, light and dark, together. It represents just like the Ian Bud Light commercial. Remember where Ian uh goes uh to the, the date the, with the twin dates, the twin girls, and he picks up his own doppelganger, a black guy, Don Cheadle. Uh, let's look right here. Genesis 127. So God created man in his own image. See the word created? Bara. To create. To cut down a wood. See right here. To create. To cut down a wood. As a formative process. To cut down. Look. What are the sheep eating from? They're eating from a cut down tree. What are the sheep? Black and white. Told ya. Then... When he says a peach pear, the black guy goes, what about a peach pear? And I could tell they're in, they're emphasizing the P, P, peach pear, 1616. He made a point to emphasize the P's. I know how they communicate now. P, P is 16, uh, 1616, P, P, peach pear. 1616 in the Bible means a sojourner, a foreigner like we are. Oh, oh, you mean like we got carried away captive into a host body system where there's a light you and a dark you, just like going to uh, the Ian Bud Light commercial? That's pretty impossible. Let me show it to you. Here you go. I just did a little screen capture of uh, them at the cut down tree to form as a formative process where you get a black one and a white one in the same outfit. See it? Same host body. There it is. It's a twin female party. Now watch, 1616, there it is right here, see, 1616 in the Bible, alien, foreigners, immigrants, sojourners, we're supposed to live out our life as exiles and sojourners, aliens, see, there it is, says it right there, there it is, so that was a cryptic commercial, what about when the guy goes down to the basement, well, let me show you the first image. When he goes down to the basement, he makes a left-hand turn. He goes and he turns left and he goes down. You see it? Down. There's an upside-down cross on the door. See the upside-down cross? Then he goes down. Uh, do you think it's kind of weird? There's a small little door on the wall from the basement. And he opens that door and then a rainbow comes out. And if you pay close attention, he literally pushes his pelvis into the rainbow like that's where the light that now he's on in a system that's down go watch the band system of a down just go watch chop suey just go do it chop suey system of a down okay because they know angels have gotten caught in their system now then he goes over to the other door and he opens it and there's a guy folded in half if your eye be single the bible says if your eye be single your whole body's full of light. The word single means folded together as a, a, a particle of union. Mm -hmm. Can anyone tell me any other reason there would be a guy in a little box folded in half? If the light, the light of the body, I'm sorry, the light of the body is the eye right here. The light, the illuminator of the body is the eye right here. The eye. If thine eye be single, the whole body is full of light. Look at the word single right here. As a particle of union, properly folded together. And uh, I know I'm having uh, this background thing that won't go away now. And folded together, one eye up, one eye down. And then if you fold it, the down one up, your eye has become single. And your whole body is full of light. Okay, now let me show you the, I want to show you the rainbow. And I want to show it to you like this. 
I'll, here's a rainbow that's up right here, and then I'm going to set it on top of a rainbow that's upside down. Okay, it shows in all these commercials, taste the rainbow, and the rainbow's always down in these commercials. Um, that shows you exactly what's going on. The light has come down, and they're eating it. That's what they're doing. That's what, there's two sheep sitting there in a tree that's been cut down. And they're saying, how can two things, you know, be blended together? Like two, two of the opposite things. We're going to watch all the commercials again one more time. But now I've shown you what they mean. They're biblical. They're biblical. Genesis 1. And then when the guy says, Genesis 1 is one of them. Then when the guy says, uh, quit your jibber jabbering. Jibber jabbering is JJ. He did it on purpose. That's what over at that uh, poor pathetic soul Gene Rebel, even though that's not his name. Um, Gene Rebel. They call me JJ over there. Why would they call me JJ at the Gene Rebel channel where Kathy and Karen ended up? Why would they call me JJ? Kathy and Karen are also referring to me as JJ. I know why. Because J is 10 and J is 10. 10, 10. It means house of Baal. So they're calling me the house of Satan. So they call good, bad, and bad, good. Isn't that fascinating? They have literally turned to that. Talk about strong delusion. I, it's just, I almost can't believe how mind, I mean, guys, do you know how crazy this is? How mind boggling this is? I'm sorry. I'm, it's also super late. It's 12, 14 a.m. And I'm determined to get another video out tonight. Okay. So look, there they are. JJ. Uh, Okay, so I went back to the other one. I want to enlarge this one. A so, oh, 1616. Alien, foreigners, sojourners. I mean, you can't make that stuff up. He tells the sheep to be quiet. Hey, quit your jibber jabbering. Oh, J, I'm sorry. JJ is 1010. That means house of bail. Right there is the peach pear combo. 1616. 1616 is is a, a sojourner, a foreigner. So anyway, yeah, 1616, uh, quit your jibber jabbering. And, oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. That was the, pe the peaches and pears. Sorry about that, guys. 1616, peaches and pears. It means aliens, foreigners, sojourners. Okay, they've been brought into the system right there. He says, how about peach pear, peach pear. That's 1616, alien sojourners. Then when the guy walks by, I'm sorry, when the guy walks by and tells him, quit your jibber jabbering because they become the house of Baal now. Think about it. You got one black, one white. That's, see, the angel of the bottomless pit, Satan, that's his system. One light, one dark. The prince of the power of the air. The spirit that works in the children of disobedience. Uh, superhuman angel, demon. Angel is light, demon is dark. Do you get it? Angel is light, demon is dark. Light sheep, dark sheep. Cut down is a formative process. You couldn't even begin to think this up. It's in a Skittles commercial. Do you understand? This is laying bare the, the bow is being laid bare. Here it is. Thy bow was made quite naked. Look at this. It says, in the original sense of bending, a bow for shooting uh, the eye. See the iris? Strength, the iris. This is unbelievable, you guys. I mean, I, I don't know if you understand how profound it is. The bow was made quite naked to bend, to set a trap, to lay a snare. What's going on? The snare is the rainbow's upside down and they're eating it. The snare is the rainbow is upside down and they are eating it. Do you understand? They are eating light beings, making fun of us. That is absolutely perfect. To bend, to set a trap, to make bear, to lay a snare. Now, let's go back. Look, I'm going to take this rainbow that's right side up and put it here with this one that's upside down. And it makes like an O. That's what a rainbow is when you're not on the ground. But when you're confined to the earth, a rainbow is this. 
and they're just making fun like we're eating the other half. Do you get it? That's why all these commercials are the same. They have the same common denominator going. Ready? Here we go. All right, let's do this. I got minds to twist and values to warp. Mr. Tyler, your Skittles portrait. That is E to the Z, who tweedle it disgusting. You haven't heard me sing diddly ding yet. Dream on. Higher. Dream on. I think a little higher. Dream Rock the rainbow, taste the rainbow. Love these sweet heat skittles. Mm. Looks like we're all out. <laughs> okay, now they're good. This is like they're going in to torture you. This is like they're going in to torture you. This is that other race of beings. They're like, this is what we do to you. Look, they're going in just reprobates to torture you. Sweet heat skittle time. Okay, look, they have like a metal grate, like a mat, a metal box frame. And then they have the uh, jumper cables hooked up, like they're torturing someone. Then they, what are they doing? They're torturing the rainbow so it produces Skittles that they eat. The underside, thy bow, thy snare. Get it? I'm showing you their snare. Their snare was made quite naked. Get it? The upside down rainbow. That's it. The light that's been turned upside down. Look, right there it is. the rainbow taste the rainbow just one lemon left lemon skittles are my favorite they're my favorite let's settle it the I'll usual call you way in five minutes let's settle it the usual way settle it the usual way the usual way settle it So their arms together make a triangle, by the way. Look at it's pretty funny. I mean, look at the dog's arm. <laughs> the little kid, I mean, it's pretty clever. Everybody's arm is all big, their right arm, but then the girl steps up and she goes, I want it, it's my favorite. And I'm a lefty, and her left arm is all strong. Get it? And on her shirt she has two females, two X. Told ya. Eat they it's all about eating the rainbow, eating light. Two X. <laughs> Lemon is my favorite. And I'm a lefty. Settle the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Lemon. This one's especially disturbing. Look at the guy's eye looking one direction, the side looking straight. That's just like Taylor Swift. Devils roll the dice and angels roll their eyes. So he got birthed into the system and he's there with his mom. Think of being attached to the earth. And then he's like, wow, I miss my dad. Watch. Uh -huh. Orange. Uh -huh. That I mean, that's just sick. An umbilical cord. Get it? And they're mocking the crap out of the angels. You're tied to the earth. And he's got one eye one way and the other eye going the other way. Unbelievable. Oh, mother. I love eating Skittles every time you eat Skittles. I love you eating Skittles every time I eat Skittles. <laughs> <sighs> I miss dad. Cut the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. Oops. Happy Mother's Day. Hey, here, here's the one with the sheep. Now, remember the virgin, when you turn it upside down, it's a dead sheep, but it's a rainbow dead sheep. The dead sheep that the virgin is, that I've shown you over and over and over again, when you turn it upside down, that dead sheep becomes a, it's a rainbow dead sheep because it has the rainbow around the virgin representing one half. So watch this. So let's see, where is that sheep I put in here for you guys? Okay. So 
think of like one rainbow out right side up, rainbow upside down. See it? So, see it? So there's the dead sheep. They eat, that's what they're eating. The light from the sheep. There it is. That's absolutely insane. Remember the night before the, before the get together, uh, night under the stars? Remember the Lord told me he would show up if I went out there and committed to that our eye in the sky was the stars and then the Lord showed up as a rainbow eye in the sky and, uh, absolutely unbelievable with an X in the dead center. And we sat there and we watched it form. It was one of the greatest miracles. I, it was so unbelievable because the Lord had told me if you go out there tonight, you step out on faith, Jonathan, I will show up and prove to you we are the stars. I told Corey and Zach, they're the witnesses. Jim and Karen were there. And even after Jim and Karen were there and seeing that great miracle, they're literally at a channel where the, the, the proprietor of that channel took that great miracle, the Lord's eye in the sky, and he superimposed over it a demon coming out of an eye in the sky. They'll call good bad and bad good. That's where Karen and Jim and Kathy ended up. That is, I mean, it's almost hard to believe. There it is. We, I photographed it. There it is. I mean, it's not arguable. The Lord shows up as a rainbow in the sky, an eye. Now, let me just show you this again. Do you see that right here? I'm putting this, this rainbow on top of this one, making a full circle. Look at, look at the Krograd. See this Kroger, you know they changed their logo. This was didn't used to be their logo. See the K and it goes to the letter O like an I and then it comes underneath to the G. Let me just show you what it, right side up, upside down U. Do you see it? There's a good U and a bad U. There's a right side up U. There's an upside down U. There's a double U. You see this one down here underneath? That is exactly the trap they set for our eye, it literally says in Habakkuk, has been laid bare. Watch this. Here it is, right here. Thy bow is made quite naked. Thy bow, the word bow, right here. It means the bending of a bow, uh, the bending, a bow for shooting, for strength, the iris, right there. But watch this. Then it says, those very words turn to, to turn upside down and lay a trap and lay a snare. There it is. Thy bow was made quite naked to bend. Think of bending light to bend, to set a trap, to lay a snare. Think of bending light and bending God's angels, which are light beings, and getting them trapped into a host body snare. See it? Look at the logo for Kroger. I mean, you can't make this up. You couldn't even think it up. Let me show you Target, the the store Target. You think it's just meant to be a Target? No, they know it's an eye. Uh, the eye was the Target. Do you get it? There you go. You remember one of the first stores to start letting people go into bathrooms. Uh, oh, well, I identify as this. Uh, this is just messed up. But there it is. Remember, they were one of the first stores to be pushing this agenda down everybody's throat because they're saying they have taken over. That's why they fly the, those colors as a flag. Like if you're a pirate and you take over a ship, you put up the pirate flag because you took it over. Why do you think they're flying their flag everywhere? It's a world takedown of gender. That's what it is. There's no doubt about it. It's proven now. It's proven using the word right now, right in front of you. Watch. Okay, that's the, uh, thy bow was made quite naked. Thy bow, thy snare for turning, uh, for turning us upside down was made naked. That's literally what it says. I'll go here. I'm going to go to Habakkuk right now in Esword. So I don't have to just click on pictures. I want to show you right here, right here. Thy bow was made quite naked. There it is, bow. It says, a bending uh, the iris. So bending your eye, your light in your eye. Uh, it means, let's see, I'm sorry. Thy bow was made quite naked. There it is, to be bare. So the bow for bending, look, to set a trap, to lay a snare. 
So the bow for bending to setting a trap, laying a snare, and the word bow literally means bending of the iris, the eye, was made naked to be bare and then to be made naked nudity and literally, especially the pudenda in a disgraceful way, nudity and shamefulness, to make naked, to uncover, to leave destitute, to make naked, to uncover, to causatively to make bare. Now think about it. What do you think I'm doing just showing you Skittles commercials? I'm making bare the trap they set for us. These are Skittles commercials that have upside down crosses. Guys pushing their pelvises into rainbows going on their genitalia. Think about what you're seeing. You have two sheep eating at a table that's from a cut down tree. Two sheep Black and white, that's the house of Baal. And that's that really pathetic creature over there, Gene Rebel. And he's calling me JJ, and they call, call me JJ, which is 1010. 1010, house of Baal. They're calling good, bad, and bad, good. That's exactly what they're doing. I don't know, it's mind-boggling. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap up this little segment. There's a lot more. Um, but I'm going to, I'm going to wrap this up. I've got to make a phone call. And so I'm going to at least get this one up and running right now, though. Here we go. I'm going to add to this in a little while. All right. I had a little memory lapse. I want to make sure I play this uh, commercial one more time with the sheep. Remember, it literally shows you the formative process of Genesis 1 in a commercial with two sheep, one black, one white eating from a tabletop that's a cut down tree, which is exactly the situation that the angel of the bottomless pit, pit eats from. That is his table, the black and the white together in one host body. That is the formative process that was to cut down, just like the Ian Bud Light commercial where Ian gets in the elevator with Don Cheadle, the black guy. I'll show it to you one more time. Watch this commercial one more time. Try and wrap your brain around what you're watching. You are literally, the Lord God is allowing you to see thy bow was made quite naked. You're going to see it right now. Rainbow. Mm. These new Smoothie Mix Skittles are delicious. I know. Two different flavors blended together in each one. How can they blend together two things as different as an orange and a mango? It's unbelievable. What about peach pear? A peach blended together with a pear? Now that's an unusual combination. I'm going to pause it right now, right there. How can they put two things that are so totally different, to, uh, you know, blended together? And then he goes, peach pear, PP1616, a sojourner, a foreigner, get it? They brought a light bean and got him trapped in a host body with a dark bean, light and dark. Trapped together in one host body right there in front of you. You're looking at Genesis 1, 27, right in front of you. The word bara, let us make man in our image. The word bara means to cut down as a formative process. And they are sitting there eating right now in a cut down tree. And that, if anyone in the world is trying to tell me that's not right, I'm going to stand against you and say no. This is absolutely perfect. Bara, to create. To cut down a wood as a formative process to choose to cut down a wood. Let us create man in his own image to shade. You got a black one and a white one. That's the shading. Shading. A phantom, figuratively an illusion. Resemblance since a representative figure, especially an idol. Here is the formative process to cut down a wood as a formative process and there they are, and 1616 is a sojourner, so the white guy's in as a sojourner with the, this is the system, and then the guy comes by and says, hey, you boys, sheep or whatever, sheep boys, uh, quit your jibber-jabbering, JJ, just like they call me over at Gene Rebels Channel, 1010, House of Bell. There's no way. There's no way. It's not even possible. This, this is orchestrated by the angel of the bottomless pit, and he is being made laid bare 
thy bow was made naked. So now the Lord God is allowing me to make Satan's kingdom naked, just like he let ours get made naked in Genesis 3. Do you understand what y'all are watching? Do you understand what you're watching? The Vatican is a snake wearing a crown. I told you. A snake is Satan, the serpent, wearing a crown on earth. Do you get it? Parthenogenesis, twin female. There you go. There it is. That's all there is to it. <laughs> yeah. you, you two sheep boys, stop that jibber jabbing. Blend the rainbow. Taste the rainbow. All right, I'm going to load this up now. Uh, I'm not going to try and make it longer. I'm just going to load it up.